Hey, how it's going guys? In this video, I'm going to show you an N10 workflow that will automatically post blogs for you on Hashnode. So Hashnode, if you don't know, it helps you basically publish your blog pages uh, or you can write blogs or you can create different types of documents. So I have created an N10 workflow that automatically write the po uh, blog for me and automatically post it on Hashnode. And from that Hashnode, it appears on my website. So I'm just going to show you that workflow. So if you look at here on my screen, I have this N8 N workflow. It calls AI agent to publish blog on Hashnode. And if you look at here, this is my Hashnode blog page. And or you can see the site. It's called superquantumblog.hashnode.dev. I'm also a quantum explorer. I am an enthusiast when it comes to quantum computing and mainly on the intersection of quantum machine learning and AI. I do a little bit of research in that area. I'm very passionate about quantum computing. Now, this is what you see. This is my Hashnode uh, page. And Hashnode is amazing. You can go to look at this Hashnode here. It's this my dashboard. I'm just showing you because I want to show you everything step by step. So if you know if you don't know how to write blogs or how to create blogs, let's say not everybody can uh, you know own a WordPress website or any kind of things where you can write blogs, right? So you can use Hashnode kind of services where you can write your blogs, just like Medium. But Medium is like where everybody is, you know, kind of it's more collaborative. Has not you own it completely. So if you look at here, right, this is my, uh, you know, workflow, Anaton workflow. Uh, if I run this, it will automatically write a post uh, on uh, this has not here. You can see there are a couple of uh, blogs. This blog that you see, the quantum leap in AI, how quantum computing is reshaping generative intelligence has been written by AI agent. I haven't written this blog. Of course, I will later. I, you know, I will put my own perspective. I have put my own perspective into this later on, but most of them are written by AI agents that you see. Now, if you don't know what N8 N is, N8 N is a workflow automation platform, which you can use to automate almost everything. That's the elevator pitch. They say there is nothing that you can't automate. Okay, so you can use N8 N cloud, very easy, 14 days free trial. If you want to try it out, go. And this is how it looks like once you go to the dashboard after you sign in. You, know, you can create different workflows. These workflows runs from left to right, guys. You can see, and when you run it, you know it automatically posts it. If you want, you know, such templates or workflow templates, you can just you know go to the link in description. I have more than ninety workflow templates on N10. Templates like you can see this current one that we are you know creating this video ai agent to publish blog on hashnode we have ai assistant n and workflow we have auto summarization n and workflow we have you know uh, daily journal we have uh, transcript extractions faceless youtube channel a lot of people are selling this for 2000 3000 dollars on facebook uh, or meta's facebook or anywhere I, you know, you can find it out faceless YouTube channel. I already have created a video on that previously. If you go on my channel and see, I have shown step by step how you can create your own faceless YouTube channel. You know, so faceless YouTube channel, we have our lead generation workflow. It's called lead magnet that automatically write leads to your CRM tools like HubSpot and Apollo IO. We have LinkedIn auto poster automatically post on LinkedIn, right? I just shown you before this video. If you go and last my, watch my second last video, you'll find out linkedin auto poster then we have rag workflows we have rag for company documents we have rag agent we have resume analyzer we have you know text to voice we have weather alerts web search whatsapp bot we have everything over here guys just get this link you know quickly in the description it's on discount right now really affordable and if you have any questions, if you're not able to run it, you can reach out to me because they're all beta tested. We have tested it ourselves and made sure that every workflow runs. Of course, you have to add your own API key and credentials. Now, coming back to this, right? Let me show you how it works here. We have a schedule trigger. Now, a schedule trigger, what it does every two days, this triggers 6 p.m. evening and 6 p.m. evening, it automatically write the post on hash note for me. And that is available here on super quantum blog uh, that you see here super quantum blog dot has not dot dev now here what we are doing how do we get this schedule trigger you just have to click on this plus icon and search for schedule trigger and it will just bring up here when i click on schedule trigger you can see it has just brought up here and you can keep adding here right so schedule trigger after that we have added an ai agent node now in this ai agent what it, it does it basically let me show you how you can add ai 
an AI agent. You can also search here, AI agent. Now, what this AI agent does here, guys, you know, it has access to your chat model, which is nothing but a large language model, LLMs, like OpenAI GPTs or Google's Gemini's or Anthropic's Clouds or DeepSeek's or Meta's and so on and so forth. You can see this is the mandatory thing you need because these are all LLM based agent. Agents earlier used to be rule based also or natural language based agents. Now we are talking about LLM based agents. Now this LLM based agent has been accessed by this AI agent, this LLM, and this has an access to Tableau web search. Now this Tableau web search is nothing but an HTTP tool. So if you let's say there is a there is service which are not available on NATN directly, we can create our own tools and give it to agent. So agent can use that tool to get some data, some kind of information, and we have to see what kind of tool we build it here. So if you look at your Tableau web search, if I go down, we can find out latest update in quantum AI field. That's my query. Now what this does, this tool, this tool looks at my query, goes on open internet, and fetches all the latest information and give it to this agent. An agent, what it does, take that information, give that to that LLM and says, hey, look, here is all the information for you. You have to synthesize a summary or synthesize that and create a blog post. That's what this agent does. Now, how will you get the Tableau API key? Because it's a paid service. You have to go to Tableau.com, create an account, log in, get an API key and come here and paste in this here. You can see this is post. This is the URL and you post your value which is a bearer token so bearer and your token and that has to be a name which is authorization as simple as that right now table live wave search once that is done basically this workflow returns a json output you know because on n10 is based on javascript everything that you do is a json okay ultimately i'll say now i am just parsing a few things in my own way that I want to post, I want to create markdown with right bullet points, headers and everything. So I'm just getting it over here. I'm creating some tags. You can see I'm giving some tags here. You know, I'm just getting the title. You can see title and some returning the JSON with title, markdown and tags. That's what I do here. And then once that is done, I have to create a payload to send it to Hasnode. So Hasnode also provides their API, you know, endpoints that we can connect with Hasnode service and we can post blogs programmatically, we can comment programmatically, we can download articles programmatically. So that's what we are doing here. Let's click on post to Hasnode, I'll show you that. Now when you do post to Hasnode, you can see this is what we are doing. Uh, and here post to, uh, this is a bit important. Here we have to use this mutation because Hasnode is based on GQL, graph query language. Now it's not like how we, do directly make REST API calls through requests or whatever. It's based on GQL and you have to use such syntaxes. So what we are doing here, you can see it says mutation. So we are using one of the mutation that's called publish post. In the publish post, we have to pass our publication ID, our title, content markdown, which is our final output, json.markdown, json.title, and the tag objects. So I'm just creating this payload and give it to has node. Now, moment I run this, right, it will automatically post it now. So let's say I just do execute workflow. It might throw an error because let's say if your publication ID is wrong or you have some duplications in that scenario, you have to go and debug it. So don't get, you know, afraid guys, if your workflow fails because, you know, you can see right now it's uh, using Tableau web search to kind of write that post. Sometimes I get afraid because I use Tableau web search a lot. It might, might exceed my token. So let's see what's really happening here. You can see it's running it. And once all green, if all these are green, then it means that you, know, you have posted your uh, blog. If it's not, then it means that there are some issues. You can see Tableau has fetched the result. Okay, successfully, which is really good for us. And our agent is writing that blog post. Sometimes it might be slow because there's a lot of bandwidth to a third party service. So please be patient uh, when that is happening because these are all free service. I'm not paying any money here, you know, to, to use this service and write it. Now post to has not, you can see when you show you the last thing, it gives me in publish post an ID of that, the title of it, you can see the title, the quantum AI Nexus, supercharging generative intelligence. Right, it gives me the URL. If I just copy this URL and show you here, right, 
it will take you to automatically you can see it, it shows here july 25 2025 the quantum ai nexus supercharging generative intelligence at super quantum lab it talks about because i have given my own company's context right that what i do at super quantum lab right so you can find out everything of such a nicely written post over here with the with the code and everything qml quantum machine learning for high dimensional embeddings quantum agent memory quantum search rack challenges blah 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 it writes an amazing blog post the only thing i haven't added yet is by adding an image that we can also add maybe i'll leave that up to you that how you can do that right now it doesn't insert an image but if you watch my previous video where i have shown how i have used stable diffusion models like stability from stability ai to automatically generate an image and post it on linkedin with a text content so you can use the same workflow and uh, do that here you can see this is what it has posted uh, right now there is no view because of course nobody has seen that i just posted it the quantum ai nexus here if i just go back you know that's what that's what we have posted it this one takes a bit of time to kind of reflect uh, but you can see now it's reflecting the quantum ai nexus now we have three blocks automatically writes it for us guys we don't have to kind of do anything just have to spin up this nn workflow and give some instructions and then it automatically does it for us fantastic right this is what i wanted to show you you can see it's all green everything how it writes the post and this workflow simple workflow you don't have to add thousands of nodes or you know five thousands of nodes just because everybody else is doing you know you can do a lot of things with the code node also code no node is really powerful you have to write a little bit of code to kind of make sure that you minimize other nodes which you don't have to use it so combination of no code low code is always good guys you know to be honest so if you are interested you know get this nn workflow templates you can find such templates or even more than that right faceless youtube channels or linkedin auto post lead generations rag agentic rags and whatnot right everything is here find the link in description and if you have any questions or thoughts let me know in the comment box if you like the video hit the like icon if you haven't subscribed the channel yet please do subscribe the channel guys that motivates me to create more such videos in your future right please share the video with your friends and to peer thank you so much for watching see you in the next one